Welcome to the last day of this course. It's been an adventurous journey for the past 10 weeks. I knew I stretched you a number of days that we still need so that we'll cover the topic so that nothing is missing. Tonight we are looking at the last topic that's dashboard creating a Power BI dashboard. This is most of the time, the whole of the story you are telling, this is where you pass it across to the board of directors, the decision maker of the organization. Okay? So, open your Power BI. First and foremost, Open Microsoft Edge in your system. In your system, Microsoft Edge, open it. Okay. Power BI service run better, not better the most. And Microsoft even recommend that only Microsoft Edge, not more. It's not a certain crew. So open Microsoft Edge. You log into app.powerbi.com on your system. Do your signing in there. Okay. If you look very well, if you click on my workspace, you will see your says analysis that you posted last week, says analysis, sale uh, exploration. So you have two things there, says analysis and says exploration. Am I correct? So these are the four items you see there. I'll do my own be more because I've done one or two things outside your lab in my own. So, have you done that? Let me respond so that we know we're on the same page and I don't miss anybody. Yes, sir. Are you where I am? Yes. Okay. So, minimize it. Start your Power BI desktop. If you have done it, I expect you to see this screen that is on my own now. Okay. So if you are where I am, click on File, Browse, Locate my solution, double click on Active Folder, Okay. So open your sales analysis. Ooh, 
Great. So you have this. In our usual way, we make a backup to the backup. So click on File, Browse. No, 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 sorry. Click on File, Save As. Okay. Click on my solution, Backup. Click on Save and say yes. Now you've done. Remember, we don't want to work on the backup. We want to work on the active. So go back to file, save as, go to my solution and active and say save. Yes. We'll make up, we'll make a backup of our last work. Okay. So you can see all the pages up to page four, line chart, product details, my performance, profit, overview, page three, page two, page one. These are all items we have there. Okay. Good. Now we want to publish the report. In this task, you set the environment for the lab by creating data sets. If you already published the data set, please move to the next task. So in Microsoft Edge browser, okay, in the Power BI, I'll navigate to my workspace. So bring your Microsoft Edge like this. I expect to click on your my workspace and you see this. Select upload and browse. See upload here. Yeah. Click on upload. Click on browse. Are we together, please? Hello, class. We are together, sir. Good. I want to upload what? We are together. Okay. So you go to your Says analysis, part their file, then select open. So you want, in case you make any changes, go to my active, says analysis, and say replace it. Okay. You try to make sure every information there is uploaded. In this task, you will create sales monitoring dashboard. You want to create a sales monitoring dashboard. So how do we do that? In the Power BI service, open sales analysis report. So look at the sales analysis report. The one that happens today, note as it plays it with today's zone. Series analysis report, please. In the overview page, select your year slicer to year financial year 2020. Please, I'll go together. In the region slicer, click on select all this. So I want to paint the whole of this place. And it's going to pin with the feature contents at this time pin. So if underlying visual changes, you need to update the dashboard time as well. So for time-based filter, it is a better idea to use a relative date slider or question and answer. That you will understand later. So to create a dashboard and pin a visual over the cursor over sales and profit margin by month. So we are talking about this. 
over your mouse over this. Okay. If you over that, if you move your mouse on this, for shout, or you click on it. Uh -huh. When you click on it, look at. See, there's a button here. So be careful not to punch other things up. So you hover this, you move down to this button, this. Click on it. This is what I'm saying. You click on this button. And you see, it brings you to what you are calling your dashboard. Did you get what I'm doing there? If I'm not following me, call me back. Please. I'm going over outside again, sir. Okay. Uh, I mean, me... uh, could you go back a bit? If you point to all this, watch out on top. You show me some icons. Anyone you point to, if you point here, you show me some icons there. Because this one is bigger, his own icon is almost overlapping this. So you have to be very, very careful. When you move around, you look at the pin button below here. Just drag on top and click this pin visual. Can you see it? So, so you click on it. It's going to come up with this. Send it to pin visual on dashboard. So in the pin dashboard window, in the dashboard name box, enter sales monitoring. Then you select pin. Say you already write your sales monitoring here. Okay, otherwise, you'll have, because I've done it before. So sales monitoring, I will call it a new dashboard so that I can type. So I will call it sales monitoring. Uh, pardon me, let me cancel. I will come back. It's going to cause confusion for us. Um, let me go to my click on my workspace so that we have a list here. Check out uh, says monitoring here. Come here and delete it. Look at this three release button, click on it, delete. I don't want to see this monitor in there. So I don't have this monitor in there. So I click on my sales analysis to go back. So I'll come back to this place. Click on it. Then come here. Okay. So I don't need the existing name. So I need sales monitor. I want to create a new one. So you click on pin. And it disappears. So on my workspace, click on my workspace. See your sales monitoring here. So we'll click on it. What do you see there? What do you see there? Hello, class. Hello, hello, hello. Let's talk together. Are we there? You say you click on what, sir? Wow. Go to my work after you pin. Go to my workspace. Click on my workspace. Says 
monitoring, click on it, and it's going to show you this there. Okay, sir. Okay. So my workspace, an open says monitoring dashboard this. Notice that dashboard has a single tag. That's one color, everything is one. And it's telling you to ask your question about your data, yeah? Let's progress. To add a title based on question, at the top left of the dash corner, dashboard, select ask a question about your data. Click on this. Okay. You can use question and answer feature to ask questions and Pabia will respond visually. Okay. So select any of the suggested questions beneath question and answer box in blue box and review the purpose. So look at this question, click on it. There's not showing anything. Click on it. There's no seeing anything. Okay. So click on question and answer, review any of these questions. So only this one is saying, what is the SA region by the seller business type? So this one is answer you. Okay. Then question and answer with other questions there are top colors. Okay, so question and answer, top color profit. So you can see the question is answering you now, the answer is giving you. Remove all text from question and answer and enter the following says. Okay, so, so remove any question here and type says YTD. Says here to this. Mm -hmm. It's going to be blank, but because I didn't clear some things. So you may recall that you have six white year to day measure in create advanced DAS. Calculation and power This measure is a time intelligent expression. So an intro require a filter and on the day table to produce results. So I send equation with in year 2020. So six year to date in year F Y twenty twenty. If 
permit me, I may have to go and clean some of, I may have to go and clean some of the table we left on your system. It's going to distort our answer tonight. My workspace. Hmm. Let me do it on part there and publish back. So I'm going to have to check out page one. They are affecting our results. Page two. Page three. Give you overview, profit, performance, productivities. We do need line charts. Okay. So this is all we need. So save it. And click on publish. So my workspace, select. Right. So come to a Power BI, refresh. Let me refresh again. So, uh, let me open my sales analysis report here. Yeah. Good. So you can see. Um, I also want to report. So now we get to my workspace, upload, browse. Okay, so browse. Upload the sales analysis, open, yes, replace it, done. I will delete sales monitoring I have here. Sir, should we also go over the same process, sir? Yeah, I do, I do the same thing. Okay, sir. You know, you have to, I have to remove some entries here. I only need your overview profit, my We've already backed it up. So those things we can see there. So this is what we're interested in now. Those values is going, is, is going to affect our results. And I move on. And I move on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So now. Have you done that? Your Power BI service, this. Open your sales analysis report. You have this. 
set of financial year to okay it's 2020 select all so you now want to click on this so you have your pin phoenix so if that's what i call it this monitoring Okay, so it's pink. In the pink dashboard window, dashboard new button taxes monitoring, then select pink. That was done. So click on my workspace. This is monitoring. You have this on there. So we've gotten to where you want to type your says. YTD It's not supposed to be valuable. Let's move on. Okay. It's supposed to be blank or white. No, I'll check later. Mine is showing blank, sir. Yeah, it's showing blank, okay? Maybe I've done too many things at the beginning. It should be blank. But add in year FY 2020. What value does your own show? What value does your own show? I'm still trying to type FY 2020. I'm still working on it, sir. Okay. All I'm demonstrating there is a pool is uh what you call time intelligence it's still showing blank sir it's showing blank yes, sir. no with that it's supposed to show you that three million but no problem This Y T six Y T D.
So to print this with the visual, I'll come to this place. Point to this guy. You will see at the top right corner, I will see P visual. Click on this. So, in the existing dashboard, so pin. When prompted to pin the type two to the dashboard, select pin, yes. So return to the dashboard at the top left corner, select exit question and answer. Look at exit question and answer here. So you now see your six there, you have to date. I think some of this thing is, there are some filters. There are some filters we left on our system because of demonstration of what we are doing. So let's just move on. Okay. To add the company logo on the menu bar, select edit, then select add the title. Look at the edit. Add the title. You want, to enhance, you want to enhance the dashboard. Select image. This. I want to go and click on image. Then click on next. In the add image tab, where we are, in the URL box here, enter the complete URL form in come to your adventures. Okay, now go to your comment. Okay, let me just do. Open your folder. Go back to PL three hundred. Okay. I see. So when you open, when you go to PS300, go to resource, go to adventure works logo, data URL test file, then apply. Yeah.
Let me, okay, let me do it here. I want to open this in a place where you will see it. Sorry, go to three hundred. The only source, the source is. So my food is given to. Go to PS300 resource, then adventure logo. So we we'll click. That's what I want. Adventure logo underscore data URL test, TST. So we we'll click on it. It's going to open something like this for you. Click inside this control A. Then copy it. Control A, Control C. Did you get me out to this level? Go to PI300. Click on the source folder. Inside it, there is a test file. Adventure Works logo. Data URL dot TST. Copy whatever you have here. Minimize it. And paste inside this place, Control V. Then apply. So it's going to bring logo for you like this. So inside the logo. Come to the bottom edge, click here and drag it. So you can, uh, that's the only way the size you can go. There's a line to go. So you drag your ties, drag this right down. Let this one be at this corner. Okay. So you allow your adventure works to go to the right corner then bring this six margin to the right of it like this and bring this your six yeah like this. Okay, so this is the dashboard for you. Edit tight details. So in this task, you will edit the details of your two ties. This and this. 
around this. Okay. Then at the top right corner of the tile, select ellipse. So there is ellipse here. Click on it. Then select edit details. This. In the tile two details pane. This located at the right in the subtitle box enter this FY twenty twenty. And then apply. So you can see and uh hold on something is missing there let's check it says ytd Okay, so I did the tile details for sales profit margin tile. Yeah. And the title details there. In the functionality section, check display last refresh time. This, click on this, then apply. Look at your refresh 10.36.44 AM. PM. So if I click on this to refresh, if you look at it very well, it's going to capture to say refresh now. So you refresh the data sets next in the next exercise. Depending on your data and report, you can do an adult data refresh anytime or Set is schedule. However, schedule refreshes require Git ways that will warrant able to configure for this lab. So from PyBI desktop, you will perform manual data refresh and upload the file to your workspace. Okay, we'll see that next. So these are to create your dashboard. All the story that we've been talking about for the past 10 weeks, this is where it ends. This is what you send to management. This is what you send to management. Okay? Supposing that I need to do addition to your data sets and you want to make a change, how do you do that? Quickly, we want to look at that. So in this exercise, you first look at sales order from June 2020. You know, look at the look at the 2020 June. There is nothing there. So, in Adventure Work, you will open your Power BI file and perform data refresh. So, just click on refresh here and see what is there. Let's do let's refresh our data. You will run a partial script to update data. In Adventure World. So in the file explorer, come to okay. okay. I've been struggling to bring this here. Okay. So go to your PL three hundred. 
look at setup. So we click on it. There is a file here. Update database to access PS1. Can you see the file? Hello? Yes. Okay, right click on it. Continue, sir. Right click on it and say wrong with PowerShell. This. Not PowerShell 7 preview. Wrong with PowerShell. This. Click on it. Sorry, it's drinking. Yeah, I'm going to bring this for you. So that's a partial screen. Okay. Uh, the thing just flashed once and disappeared like that, sir. Uh, you shouldn't. Let me close this one. You shouldn't. You right click on this and say run with PowerShell. This. So run with PowerShell. It's going to, it's about to be saying in starting June 2026. And I then it did not say press any key to continue. This was supposed to be on your screen. So you press any key to continue to close. Do you have this on your screen? Press enter. When you press enter, it disappears like that. So, database now includes the seeds for made in June 2020. Let's see. This data 2020 June that is not there before is not there. So, now refresh your. Go to your Power BI desktop file, this. In this task, you open your Sales Analysis Power BI desktop file, perform a little refresh, and upload. How do you do that? So, in the data pane, here, right click the Sales table, Sales and then refresh data. Right click on this and say refresh data. So that it's going to push in the data you just add. Okay, finish. So click on file save. So when you are through with that, then you click on file save. To publish the file to your workspace on home ribbon, so click on publish. So that you will see the following uh, select to publish and select within that, then say replace. We'll click on got it.
So go to your edge now. Look at the six monitoring dashboard. Okay, you see a refresh now. So go ahead and refresh later here. Can you see your refresh now? Do you notice your 2020 June data now? Hello, class. Yes, and the sales right will be the both change. The, okay, sales here to date also change. Great. Great. Okay, so would we have to do it manually like that every time? That is if you are adding a new data, you are just adding a new data. Every, every scenario depends on what exactly do you want to achieve. So how do we create the new data that is going to be added, sir? Because it's just a file. Is there a way to create that? Because that file is a different file, kind of. Is a yes, text file. They, they, you will have, uh, management will have advised you, then you upload the data back mm -hmm. to the system. This one is just a simulated lab. Okay. Okay. You will have uh you will have updated your database, the source that you are cut off from. You will have updated the database and pull your information from there again. There and go over all the process. Go over all the process. Would we go yes. over the same process again? Yes, just for the few information that you want to add. That's all. Just for the few information. So if I just I'm just changing the sales data from everything, so I pick the sales, I clean it. I only take that particular one and through like that. Yes. We added it again yes. the other time. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Don't worry. By the time we play around it, a lot of ideas will come up. Okay. So you have your 2020 June there. So that takes you to the end of. This is how to create your Dutch bot. This quick one, uh, save your report, let me just leave it there. Let me see, there's one more thing I need to show you quickly. Any question up to this level? So let's go over that place from the text again, please, sir. Which one? From the way you, when you updated the database thing, the okay. picking of data from the LP300 and, okay. and all those things. Okay. okay. Uh, what we do is that we come to P300, come to all your files, yeah. You come to set up. First thing you did, you run this file. Let me even open it for you. Let me edit it so that you see what you are doing. I don't want it to lose. Man. Okay. This is the content of the file you wrote. You are saying in certain 2026, invoke SQL this data adventure this input file script, update database to SQL, write presenter to close. Now let me go to that instruction you run on partial. No magic there. See, it's calling something here. Script. So let me go back and show you the folder script. Look at your scripts. So it is calling this file edit. So you see, 
update your file to the seller says this is what you are doing manually yeah set cheap date is equal to date of this okay uh adding where the record then add june 2026 20, i'm saying book is sad that is i am making a change to that table fat seller table you are making a change to this yes sir uh -huh. so and you only use the uh, you are only using the reseller series look at it you've already exported it to csv file 2026 with data file this you decide to do you decide to script it but rather than that i can decide to go and update the table directly myself let me move back on the source this is this is this is the file you are uploading this is the file these are the 2020 sales i because i've already detached my so uh i've detached my data uh let me show you no secret here this is my power bi this is my table i've already detached my data away from the source database i now export it from the database and bring it and import here and yeah. import to this power bi here that's what I'm trying to do. I just, I've already complete all my records before they bring all the sales of 2020. Okay. Instead of me to go and start from the beginning. Okay. So, ordinarily, all I'm supposed to do is to, uh, is to come to this place. Let me, let me, I love your question. Okay, transform data. As I'm going to come here, transform data. So, after I've already bring all my data here, they now bring, they now brought to me, uh, see, sorry, see. They now brought to me the sales for 2020 June like this. You understand me now? I'm supposed to come to this place, source. Okay. No, I'm supposed to match. I will match. I will combine. I will combine the record of that table. That's my. That's my combine. Ah, uh -huh, here. I will put that thing in another CSV file and I'll say append the data. By the time I pick append, I'm going to pull up the table, two tables. Okay. Then I, I will just import the table here. The first step is I will import only the tables for 2020 alone here. Then I will now come here and click on append query. Then I will now say two tables. So table to append, I will pick the current one to be my sales, current, okay? Then, you know, I've already opened sales there. Yeah. So I will now locate the other table that I've already imported here and append. That's the manual way for me to do that. So instead of passing through this long process, that is what makes me to, uh sorry. that's why i wrote that's why microsoft decided to write the scripts that will waiting update. for eh? a description that will update it yes so instead <clears throat> instead of passing through all those long process that's how they wrote these scripts okay they wrote the script that will do the addition 
Then after that, because these are Excel scripts, you are expected to have knowledge of Excel. I mean, sorry, knowledge of Microsoft SQL. So you know your data in your data analytics. Excel SQL is part of the items that you're supposed to know. Right? Yes, yes, so whatever I'm doing here is SQL functionality. So trying to expose it to some of the things you can do. After you do that, then now went further and create a bash program that you will run with Power BI and that you run with PowerShell. Okay? So you write your script in PowerShell to call that scripting. Scripting is part of, as you are advancing in your data analytics, remember there is coding, there is Python. Scripting, you learn it under your Python. Then Python and SQL, you learn scripting there. These are the things you use your scripting to do. So that you use it to automate your environments. But because we are dealing with summary period, Microsoft simulates all of them for us so that you see the end results. Am I communicating? We are trying to understand, sir. You are not expected as a new data analytics to be doing scripting, no. No. That is why that is supplied for you. And there is no interview you will go to that will ask you as a data analytics, a junior role, a medium a, a, a medium role to come and be writing scripting. Nobody will ask you that question. If any, if you if you say you are a senior data analyst, then they can ask you that question. But if you say you are applying as a junior data analyst, they will only ask you a few questions that will make you to say true. That what you saw there is suspected is an advanced part of your data analytics. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, any other question? Oh, if I answer your own question, the person that asked me to go over it. Yes, sir. Good. Any other question? So what's the standard? What's the most used kind of process? Is it this? Is it the automated one from database or the which one do organizations use more? Because I know some people will tell you that they want their dashboard to always update automatically when they when they wake up in the morning, whatever happened overnight in their business, they see it in their dashboard. Like I've been telling you, like I've been telling you for the past 10 weeks, the question of what you do depends on what the management Thanks. wants. But over the years, by the time you work for a year or two, because you are new to it, so many things are new to you. But by the time you are working as a data analytics for a six months, a year, two years, three years, you so one or two things are part and parcel of you. That you at that point you are now asserting your authority. You can tell your guys that uh, guys over years have been doing this. This is the best way to present your information. But remember, you offer an opinion, not an affirmative. You can call them, oh, there are some uh, MDs, uh, EDs, uh, whichever. I think, in my view, in my opinion. We can present our information in this way. Hey, in my view, in my opinion, we can do this. Occasionally, some will even call you, hey, Mr. Data Analyst, how you advise us? You can now be telling them, oh, let's, can we do this, sir? Not that you will come to them and say, hey, do this, do this, do that. I know this is how I've been doing it for the past 10, 15 years. Who cares about how you've been doing it for the past 10, 15 years? Are you with me? So yes, you sir. offer yes, an you offer an opinion, not in a dictatorial manner. Don't quote, don't go to management and say, "Hey, guys, I have been a data analytics of uh, Fortune 500 bank. I've been a data analyst in Amshire. 
and the data analysis in California and so what? This is the way we want to run our own system. You understand me now? Please be humble, listen to them. When they ask you, can you offer us an advice? Tell them, oh, sir, well, based on my years of experience, in, you cannot, at that time, you cannot be talking, you cannot be, you are giving them opinion, and you are now so. While I was working with New York Bank, in a year, one of the management suggested that we do something like this. But one of these brought up a brilliant idea, you know, brought up a brilliant idea that really the management really appreciate, and they said we should do it this way. And we present that way. And I was in the board that year. I was fascinated. I love the comments of the board of directors over that. You are selling an opinion to them. You and as you are selling it, you are telling them that oh, this opinion I'm selling to you was one of the experience I have in New York Bank that one of the su suggested. And since that time, I've been bad with. They are selling, you are telling them that I'm not dictating to you. I'm giving you my experience somewhere that benefited them. In my opinion, maybe if you allow us to do such kind of things, may be a better way to present your information. And I'm sure anybody on that seat will see, oh, this guy is doing the right thing. That kind of thing depends on the way the reception they have. Of which some of them but have been, you might saw an MD that said, oh, oh, guy, while I was in Germany, they presented, can you do something like this for us to narrate for you? Can you show us this kind of information? At times, some of them will tell you, they will snap it for you. They will bring, they will put it on, they snap it on their phone. They will say, can you do something for you, like this for, for, for us? I was in Germany. I saw it. So I tell you, I was in a conference in Australia when they are presenting their end of year report. I love this kind of report. Can you do it? Can you can you do something like this for us? Don't don't say oh God, that is not that cannot work here. Yeah, that's Australia. Who, who, who are you to tell him you can't work here? Okay. You understand me now? Maybe at the only thing, maybe at that particular time your setup may not accommodate that. Or maybe you didn't buy a full license one way or the other. If you have any reason why something cannot fly, oh, just again explain. Ah, sir, I appreciate this idea you, you are bringing, but our licenses cover this, cover this. We will not be able to achieve this with our license. If we pay full license, or if you do this, you do that. If interesting, you'll be surprised right away. It might say, okay, which account are you paying? License you will be paying for them because you want to see it. So you are in a, you are in advice advi advisory position, not in the dictatorial position. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Good. Any other question? Okay. Uh, how many minutes? Okay. I want to run through there is a small lab that end up the whole of this game. Okay. It's not going to take a longer time. When you want to enforce a low level security, what does it mean? In this lab, you enforce a low level security to ensure that a safe person can only analyze sales data for the assigned region. Hmm? You want to make sure a sales person can only analyze his own data. Okay, that's uh, enforce a low level security. Okay, good. I have started uh, sales analysis. Is there? I don't want to waste time. Let me save as okay. I will save to my active for you to be sharing to me. Okay, so says 
us. Let me back up to my back up. Okay. Yes. Okay. So five. Save us so that I'll return it back to my active. Yes, okay, I'm back. So in this task, we enforce low level security to ensure a safe person can only see safe made in the assigned region. So let's switch to a data view here. Come to this place. In the data pane, select says person performance. Here, select this. Review the data. Noticing that Michael Blight date has a UQM value. So look at Michael Blight here. Yeah? This guy. Michael Blight at adventureworks.com. You may recall that Megabla is assigned to three states region, U.S. Northeast, U.S. Central, and U.S. Southeast. It's been attached to three regions. Okay? So, our modeling ribbon. So, uh, where is my modeling ribbon? Is he on home? So are you on home? home, yeah. Thank you. That's my eyes. Okay, look at under manage rules. So this is the um, So click for manage rules. In the manage rules window, select creates. Uh, click on new. Uh, Mm-hmm. You can see this person performance. What is the list here? Okay, you can have the account. UPN.
So this is our principal name. Then say type this user Shift. This is a name is a data is a dash function name of authenticated user. It means that says for the performance table will, will filter using UPA of the user query the model okay good so, so what does that mean sir it's going to pull the user that you supply just let's run through close this so Click on view as well to test what you just done. Check other users. So enter Michael Bright here. Click OK. So notice that the yellow banner on the fourth page describes the test security concepts. Now view the report as says as Michael Blood. Okay. They'll come. So in the table visual, notice that only this person is listed. Wow, I think let me stop this. I think we made a mistake there. Yeah. Hold on. We're supposed to select Michael here before we write that script. Okay, this. Then we we'll click on Manage Row. Say script. And come to this place. You can call this yes, see. So as view, you can close. And Please, sir, when I click on the manage rules, the interface my is bringing is totally different from yours, sir. Is it? <laughs> Maybe I've updated my own system. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. So there's no, I don't even have the room of typing what you typed the other time, sir, for the UPN, sir. Wow. Well, no problem. Who? Find a way of playing around it and get it. 
Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh. 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 I don't know. to pick my blight alone. Let's also click on view. All right. This one will give me Mm-hmm.
Uh -huh. See, so being able to filter based on the user principal name of that of that employee. Okay, so now being a salespeople.com, so you can filter your information. You can limit it to only the rules of that person. Okay. And stop being into that will see everything together. And if you want to delete it, just simply call me and delete it. So these are how to limit your role. These are how to limit your sales person to see his own information alone. Okay. So this takes me to the end of your Power BI foundation. I will say foundation introductory course. What we do for 10 weeks is to be done for five days. Hello, class. Are we together? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, five days. <laughs> any question for me? Any question for me? Hello? Hello? Is it as regards the class or general? Yeah, regard the class and any other question you want to ask me now. We've been friends for 10 weeks. So. I just want to ask, is today the last class, sir? Yes. Chegun Samson, you join us late? Yes, I have it with my name. Okay, LC Agbon Color, you join us late. Good I evening, Mr. Daniel Bosinti, you join us late. Correct. Good evening. Wow. Indeed, Thank you very well. much for your lectures. I really appreciate it. It really helps us. I have a question, sir. Hello, sir. I doubt if he's still there. I think his network. Okay. I must follow my question then. You can ask me you now. See, you know. Yeah, <laughs> oh, guys, I will look at you now. Cast me, please, Bobby. I'm a. Yeah, ask your question now. We feel research for you. Mm. Very good. Maybe we'll wait for our guy. 
But he said he was going to give us a project. Major. Let's have the internship after the internship. After the internship. Let's have it now. It will help us. Right, we like wait till day now. I have to go and sit down with this RBI after after the internship. Exactly. Bye bye. Would you mind getting here? Good hey. for you. Hey. Are they, are they... Update, update, update me tomorrow. Like, ah, yes, he's it's back, he's back, he's back. Oh, sorry, oh, a little glitch. Sorry for that. Not intentional. So, sorry for that. I'm with you. And that will, be, that will, not, be, that will not be nice way to end my class. I, I won't be happy. <laughs> so, any question for me? So we'll come with, so we can come with our questions later. Of course, of course, of course. But officially, our class ends now. Okay. So, Does that mean we can't disturb you again, sir? No, no, no. You, you know, no, you can do that. Right. Since uh, we can talk to you. Yes, yes. You can talk to me. That means I'll be checking our Telegram time to time. The only thing is, I don't know if this one is secluded for you as data analyst alone. Is that? If not, uh, you can talk to me. You can create a WhatsApp group, including me, including all yourself. Then you can be asking your. If this one is not specifically for data analytics, your class. You can discuss it with me that you are look you want a way you can communicate with me directly or because what I'm asking, looking at that is if this is for general team, maybe as they can be adding as many as possible people that you can lose track of your questions. Discuss that. Whichever way you want to reach me, I'm available for you. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Yes, so, sir. If this is your telegram group, if it's for your class alone, no problem. Yes, good evening. Good, good evening. Good evening, Mr. Yeah. Penisa. Yes, yes, this is for this class alone. Alone, right? So yes, the next class they're gonna create another group. Another group. And then good for you. You can ask me questions. I'll simply be following it. That's no problem. Okay. So I'll be checking it from time to time. Then I will work on the project. That's, I want us to, that, that is a personal project I want us to run through away from this simulated uh, Microsoft project. Probably by next, before, I may be busy now, but before the week runs out, I will see what I can do. So I will communicate via here. Thank you, sir. Yeah. That, that project you, will be sir. neutral. That project will be neutral for you to question, to do things, not fully Microsoft uh, uh, manners levels. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much, Mr. Veniza. The journey has been beautiful. Thank you very much. Though I, I, I missed out because I was also, I was in Nigeria, but oh. um, yeah. It it was okay. it, it has been very 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 beautiful. Thank you for taking out your time to teach every one of us here. I believe we've all learned a lot, and we're going to use it. Yes, we're going to use it. I'd be glad. Thank you. Yes, we're going to use it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Where is Thank PG? You. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So um. Well, as, as the name of the app implies, Power BI is powerful too, I can see. 
Mm. If there is still any question, um, we can always post it there. And please, please do, please do. Which I please believe do. there will be questions. <laughs> definitely, definitely. there will 